Hello everyone. Uh, good morning. Uh, today I am going to show you how to connect to Oracle database, remote Oracle database using SQL Developer in Mac OS X. So I am using Mac OS X server 10.6.64 uh, mountain line and I will be connecting to uh, SQL Oracle 12C database uh, using SQL Developer 4.0.3.16.84. So this is the download page and uh, you can see uh, I'm here. I'll just uh, provide the link in my uh, description and you have to accept the license and after accepting the license you have to this is the Mac OS X uh, and this is the download link. Uh, as soon as you click on the link. Uh, Uh, there is a problem I think so you will be uh, redirected to the sign in page and you have to have one Oracle account and you have to sign in after signing in the download will begin so I will be just uh, skipping this step and let us uh, just continue with the installation so I will just right click on my SQL developer this is a zip file which has been downloaded uh, approximate size of 240 MB so when you open it, it will automatically be mounted uh, on the desktop. So let us just wait for this. Uh, and after it has been extracted, we will just continue with the installation and connection process. So now the SQL developer is extracted and this is my um, extraction on automatically extracted on downloads. So, because I've been just uh, extracted, uh, the, um, access a zip file from the remote um, remote host. Uh, that's why uh, it's been down uh, extracted on downloads. So, uh, basically, if you just copy the zip file on your desktop and extract it, it will be automatically extracted on desktop. So that's not a problem. So I'll just right click in it and open. Click on open. This is a warning message usually given by SQL developer. It is telling you are attempting to run with Java 1.6.0.0 underscore 65. Running this product is supported with a minimum Java version of 1.7.0 underscore 51 and a maximum version of less than 1.8. Updates uh, set Java home in users uh, Subhan Ganguly dot SQL developer 4.0.0 product dot com 2.2 another Java. This product will be not be supported and may not work correctly. I can you can just check it and skip this message next time it is indicating to skip because it uh, in most cases works so we will try with this uh, 1.6 Java version and click on yes Uh, just uh, want to tell you one thing that SQL developer is a package which is a Java based package uh, which runs on Java JVM Java virtual machine and this is not an installer or uh, package based software or in Mac or some MSI based software in Mac sub installer based software in Windows and in Linux also it is just a uh, plug and play type of software where which you just download and extract and after that when you just run it it is directly um, the open uh, software directly opens and started running so there is no, not necessary to install you just need to configure it and nothing else there is a general message would you like to import uh, preferences from a previous SQL developer installation there is no previous SQL developer installation in this OS so there is no, nothing in the list it's empty so I'll just click on no here is a message uh, Oracle users tracking in order to continuously improve our products Oracle is interested in learning about product usage to that end automated reports can occasionally be sent to Oracle describing the product features in use no personally identifiable information will be sent and the report will not affect performance you can review oracle privacy policy in our website so i'll uncheck this okay. 
and click OK. So here is uh, we are in our start page. This is the start page, and we we'll just went on to connect to Oracle. And this is my Linux server. This is Oracle Linux 6.64. Or Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.64, and I've installed Oracle 12C release one. Now I'll just uh, go to my Mac OS X server and connect to this uh, Oracle server through SSH and start my Oracle database. And after that, I'll connect to SQL Developer, uh, connect to Oracle database from SQL Developer. So from here we will try to connect to the Oracle server. Here is the username. Okay, are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes. So I provide my password. Now I'll connect as SysDB. SQL plus as SysDB. So I'm connected to my SQL Plus. Now I will just start the database. The database is started. Now I'll exit the SQL Plus and start my listener. As you can see, this is my listener. I am on Oracle. My machine name is RECL6. And this is for LSN CTL for Linux version 12.1.0.2.0. Well, that is my Oracle database 12C version. It is started from this is the path. And there, there is the description. You can see the it is 192.160.0.109. The port is 1521. Okay, so now I'll just start with my uh, connection. Here we have uh, two different options from where we can make a new connection. One, you can see this plus sign. If you click on this, you'll find one new connection here and another is this new this connection when you right click on it you'll find a new connection okay so I'm going by the right click and selecting new connection here we are to our database connection dialog box and this is my connection name I'll just keep say RHEL Oracle connection. User name is uh, say we will connect to system. Password is also system. It's case sensitive. I don't remember actually. The there may be one error due to case sensitivity. You can also save the password by checking here and also change the connection color. So I'm not going to all do this and I'll use my IP address instead of host name that is more convenient for me. Port is 1521 as you know I have shown you before while uh, starting a listener CTL a listener and here I will use the SID that is over CL. Okay. So here I am here uh, with my connection parameter and uh, just check to the safe password and connect to Oracle database. Now we will just test the connection.
I have made one small changes. I have uh, just uh, changed the SID to service name and the service name in my Oracle uh, database is workcell.local domain. So I have just uh, performed that test and it succeeded and now I will just connect. So we are connected to the database and you can see here in the object browser we have everything. Now one thing to show you that uh, we will export the, uh, this connection configuration and connect by importing the configuration. Click on export. So all you need to do is you have to right click on the connections and select export connection and select the connection you want to export. Just check the checkbox, click on next and give a file name. You can also browse and set the file name. Ta Save the file. Click on next. We have just changed the path. The chart path seems to be something having a problem. Okay, invalid file. I mean, I think. I have just not provided the XML extension. So let us provide the extension dot XML. Is the problem is not with the path, problem is with the extension. Okay, your extra care should be taken when exporting connection that contain password ok remove all password from the exported connections ok I will select the second option you can also encrypt all password with a key uh, I am not concerned with that now and click on finish so now what will I do I will just delete this connection Select delete. Yes. And again create a connection. Oh, I'm sorry. So this is the second option by which we can connect to the uh, connect to the database by exporting the configuration file as XML, save it as XML and import that XML file later on. So let us just check with some SQL statement. So this is the SQL statement, select so start from cat and this is from system database, so administrator database. So this is all about connection connecting in to Oracle database, to FC release one from with SQL developer in Mac OS X Mountain Lion 10.7. So that's all about this tutorial. Thank you very much.